Hi! In this video, you will learn how to define a simple slope and how to measure points against it. This slope is to be used as a design model. In this exercise, we aim to prepare a plot for building a house on it. The plot should become flat and sloped by 5% to provide a good water flow. We start from the home menu and make sure that we have chosen the correct project and job. We tap on slopes. On the map, we see a control line applied to one side of the plot. We select this line. The map shows a slope and the toolbar appears in the bottom right corner. When we rotate the view, it is easier to see the created slope. The toolbar offers many options to edit the slope. In this exercise, we focus on the tools needed for a simple definition of a slope. In case values from another slope are present, we can reset these to default by tapping on the eraser. These are already the default values, so we just continue. First, we should define the correct angle of the slope. We tap into the first input field and enter 5%. Next, we define the slope's direction. We tap on the up and down button to set the direction to downwards. We want the slope to be on the other side of the control line, so we tap on the flip button. Good! Just so you know, this button can shift the start and or the end point of the slope along the selected line. We use the whole line this time, so we leave it as is. We are now satisfied with the defined slope and tap on OK. The slope is ready on the map. Now we can measure points against it. It will be easier to see what we do if we split the screen and enable the cross-section view. First we tap on View from the map handler. Next we tap on Multiview Config and select 50-50 ratio. Then we tap on View again and this time select Cross Section. Now we focus on the values in the information bar and in this exercise the first page is relevant. It shows the line, offset and height difference values relative to the selected line. These values should help to navigate to the right position on the slope. The dhex value is the distance from the current position to the slope and is a horizontal guidance to the slope. This value is also shown on the map and in the cross-section view. The cut fill value is the most important value for slopes. It shows the height difference between the current position and the slope and where to move material. When we stake out on the slope, we store the measured points and put a stake into the ground. On the stake, we mark the height difference. For details about how to stake out using stakes, please watch the video How to Stake Out Points. Where a point fits the defined slope, the dhex and cut fill values are green and Icon Site stores the point as being within tolerance. That's it. You have learned how to define a simple slope and how to measure points against it. Thanks for watching.